friends, it's Sarah from Sweet Sense from the Dollhouse. If you're new to my channel, subscribe, hang out. If you are a returning subscriber, as always, thank you for hanging out. Um, today I am filming Throwback Thursday's video. It is only Sunday, admittedly, but I am pre-filming this because I was super excited. Thanks to my subscriber, I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong, but Derf Day on YouTube. Um, requested that I do a throwback Thursday on Sensi's Retired Satin Sheets. I absolutely love this bar. If you guys have tuned into my channel for a while, oh my word, I would have to say that this is definitely my, has to be in the top 10, maybe even top 6 Scentsy fragrances that I've ever smelt. It is absolutely to die for. So let me just see here. Um, I believe this first came out in the fall and winter catalog of 2009 and my long-term Sensi consultants, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. And it was never discontinued until just this August. So you know it's good if it's been consistently in the catalog for eight years going strong. That's crazy. It's beautiful. So it's a burgundy color, and of course I'm done this one. It's a white colored wax. This is gorgeous. I have one more bar that I have hidden away. I don't think I'll melt that until I get my hands on some more of this. It's it's so nice and so simple. The scent notes say sensual and earthy sandalwood perfectly paired with rich warm vanilla, and that's all it is. It's such a simple, beautiful fragrance. Um, it was in the Romance collection, I believe, uh, originally, and then they moved it to the Classics collection and the just this last catalog, it was back in the Romance collection. So I think it's bounced from one season to the next, from the Classic to the Romance, but it has been going strong for eight years. Then they retired it, and that one probably was the one that broke my heart the most, that Sensi took it out of the catalog. Uh, I don't think we'll see it back in the spring and summer catalog. I could be wrong, though, because with Sensi, you just, you never know. So, super bummed to see it go. Um, it's light, smooth, creamy vanilla. And the sandalwood, I think, is what makes it, aka, romantic-ish. And that's why a lot of people enjoy this as a bedroom bar. I've heard a lot of people warm this in their bathroom as well. I love this so much that when I did scent scores on this, I didn't just put it in my room. Or sorry, not scent scores, Throwback Thursday. I didn't just put it in my room. I pretty much used this whole clamshell in every warmer all over the house because I love it that much. It's also a nice break from like the heavier bakery scents or the holiday spicy scents. This is just the most beautiful transition scent and another reason why I was so shocked that Sensi took it out of the catalog because this is just an anytime bar and I don't think we have anything comparable in the existing catalog to satin sheets. Um, if you like satin sheets, you would probably like Lux Vanilla, um, what else, White Sands, it's not the same, but I'm just saying around like the same vibe, like these are scents that gave me the same like smooth, um, almost powdery transition vibes, they're not heavy in bakery, they're not heavy in floral, they're just nice any room bars. Um, Sensi has one called Silhouette that is also not the same, but same vibe, all of which are retired. As I say, there's nothing in the current catalog that gives me this same vibe. It's it's a shame. Oh, I absolutely love this. So if you know of any local Sensi vendors, <clears throat> or sorry, Sensi consultants, or you meet one at a vendor event, Check out his or her stash and see if they have any satin sheets hanging out because I promise you, you will not be disappointed with this one on fragrance or performance. So I put one cube in a 600 square foot room, well just over, uh, 
same warmer as always 25 watt bulb warmer I would prefer two cubes because I like my home fragrance super in your face strong but one cube lasted a total of 23 hours in this room and I'd say for the first 13 to 15 hours of that 23 it was wall to wall smelt beautiful in here I love this scent I would give this definitely a 10 out of 10 on fragrance as well as a 9 out of 10 on performance because it's beautiful and if one cube lasts 23 hours you definitely get tons of bang for your buck I absolutely love this one I'm super sad it's gone um, hopefully cross your fingers that I'm wrong and it does make a you know surprise appearance in the spring summer catalog <clears throat> I'm just not sure that it will. If it had an eight year run in our catalog, maybe Scentsy has retired this one for a little bit for a reason. The other good thing about Scentsy is they're unpredictable, I'll, I'll give them that. But usually when they take something like this out, they've got something else in the works maybe that they're gonna surprise us with and knock our socks off in the new coming catalog, which will be out this April. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell for future content notification. And as always, the first person to comment gets to pick next week's Throwback Thursday. And the choices are between Scentsy's Stay A While, which I believe was a new release last spring and summer and it retired. So we might see this one back. Scentsy's Jungle Jam, which this one was a gift to Ella Bella for my friends in Regina, Saskatchewan. Can you tell I'm in the mood for something other than bakery or super heavy holiday fragrances? And last but not least, Scentsy's Flower Child, which usually retires lately in the fall and winter, but this one's so good too. It, it will hopefully make a comeback in the spring and summer as well. But yeah, so that's the choices this week are between Flower Child, Jungle Jam, and Stay A While. Again, first one to comment down below gets to pick. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.